Hello everyone, Flick here, welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen and thank you very much for the support shown on part 1. Also I apologise for what I think is a lawnmower in the background, not entirely sure. Anyway, I have spent about 40 minutes off camera creating this, this assortment of people who are going to save the world selected from Patreons of a certain pledge level or above. And if you remember from my very first, I think it was my very first XCOM 2 playthrough, I made Soul Food look like some kind of horrible Baron Samedy demon man. I think I've managed from to top heard, that with one person in particular. Shut up, Bradford! With one person in particular. But anyway, let's go through who we have. So, also, please don't take offence if you're the wrong gender, nationality, or whatever. I kind of left all that unchanged. I just kind of made people look unique. So, other than names, that's really all I changed. So, we have Julia Wasberg. And I just noticed her will is only 47 out of 55. Is that because you got shot? Hmm. And this is our, our tech. Then we have Garlock Thornbolt, who is our sniper and has a relationship with our grenadier, I believe it was. So I made him look like a, a rugged Aussie person, even though he's American. Yeah, squad site, of course. Then we have Azoi Origin, who I was kind of going for a Vasquez from Aliens type look, and then I made her bright red. So I kind of lost it halfway through the creation there, but... That's our Grenadier. Has a very high bond level with Garlock, apparently. So there you go. Then we have Flying Racer. This is our serial killer of the party. This is us onto rookies as well, so they have no... They're not, they're not specified yet as what class they are. Then we have the Bearded Panda 24. Quite happy with how that one came out, actually. Then we have Taya Blake, who probably is the most normal-looking soldier. Just buy the books. Actually, she looks like the person I call Guildmarm in The Evil Within. Then we have Solace Corvus, who was kind of going for that dude from Fury Road whose name I've forgotten because I've never seen the film. Uh, something Joe, probably. Then we have Mr. Jarek, otherwise known as Jarek, who I, I don't really know what I had in mind other than I wanted to embarrass Jarek by putting him in hot pants, so that's what I've done. He's also got Kabuki makeup on and a Japanese stereotypical cool haircut. Now this, this is Platypus Custard. This, I think, is my Soul Food MK2. I feel like looking at this person for too long will make you physically ill. So I feel like I've achieved greatness here. I, this is the character I'm most proud of. It makes me hurt to look at it. So that's Platypus Custard. Yep. I, I'm, I'm overly proud of this character. And I just kind of accidentally fell into it. But it is amazing. Then we have Brian Hisu. Who I kind of just made look relatively normal, I would say. Then, Alexander Frasca, who I made look like uh, an advent who turned. So let's say this is a turncoat advent. That's his backstory, whether he likes it or not. Then we have Matsumuni, who you may know from oh, ages ago, like Dark Souls 2 era and Monster Hunter, I think. This is Matsumuni. I thought it just looked nice. I was, I was originally starting with a kind of Japanese style with him, but then it just... It became this. I also forgot to customize his gun, so bear with me one second. We've got to make his gun some variety of like bright red, I guess, and give him the... I've forgotten what pattern I picked for him. It wasn't zebra, it was maybe stripes. That doesn't look quite right either. Wild? Hmm. Yeah, stripes will do, rather than worry about what I made it. Although that is going to bug me unless I check. Uh, so we want to go to... Yeah, we do want body. Wild, that was the one. So, where's Wild? There's Wild. Well, there's one above it. Okay, I'm satisfied with that now. I did add them all to the character pool as well, although now obviously that's going to be the wrong gun. But whatever, let's go and actually do a mission on the world map. Commander, good to see you on your feet again. Welcome to the bridge. I'm going to let this play in case he expands this conversation. The aliens have our entire world in their grip. Advent controls everything. Government, communications, industry. So far this is the same, but I, I think he'll mention the, the three new factions, maybe? Back. Resources and time are tight, Commander. It'll be up to you to decide how to best use both. The ship is yours. Thank you, Bradford. Commander, we're attempting the cutscenes are quieter in the game, incidentally. Faction known as the Reapers. Ah. These people like to keep a very low profile, so it may take some time before we hear back. While we're waiting, it might be worthwhile to scan the area for additional supplies and resources. 
You okay. never know what we may find out there. Commander, oh. one of our resistance contacts just tipped us off to a site that may be worth investigating. So we're starting in America, and we have Avenger assorted loot. I like course. assorted loot, and we're learning modular weapons, so let's put mods on if we get any. Commander, the Avengers remote scanning capabilities yeah, yeah, yeah. will this help is us search mildly the area for clues tutorial related. The resources. It's going to take some time, though. We've got a lot of ground to cover. Sites. I have made a number of interesting discoveries, Commander. So, weapon upgrades available. That lets us also research magnetic weapons. It lets us bung mods onto weapons. The next quickest thing is going to be hybrid materials, which we'll use our two corpses we got from the tutorial. Not the human corpse, the um, the advent corpses. Quiet tiger. And we should get our first kind of selection missions that are tutorialized as well. Here, trigger times one. I was expecting a little bit better than a single mod, but whatever. Supplies. Avengers yes, please. plotting new course. Now, what is the bonus for capping all of America again? I don't remember. But anyway, we should get a mission before these supplies finish. Was a or, you know, it could just let us do a bunch of research. Nanoskill vest, plated armor. So that's the one we have to equip. But that's fine. I guess we'll start on biotech then, five days. I will make that our highest priority. Yes, you will, because I said so. For it is I, the commander. Commander. As there the you go. As continues to grow, we'll have a better chance of finding openings to strike back at Advent. Yep, so this is just tutorial is, one because we get our engineer. identified a potential target to disrupt the aliens' operations in this region. Sabotage the transmitter. So on this mission, I'm going to send the sniper and I'm going to send the grenadier because they have a relationship and I want to see how that works in mission. And we'll take two rookies to get them classes. So, we don't want to bring Glasberg. We want to bring some other random rookie on mission. Uh, hang on, we've got like two men, two women? No, that is, that is three men. I can't really do anything about that though. Actually no, I could replace you if I want. Oh, well, this, this will do, this will do. So actually, what I thought was an XP bar is not an XP bar. It's it's maybe like fatigue? So that's the, the solution to you always using the same teams, I guess. Long War 2 did it in a different style. But it seems like this is so that soldiers get tired, maybe, <laughs> to force you to have multiple teams as opposed to like an A team and maybe a B, B team. Interesting. I've noticed that in general the game is a lot smoother thus far. Begin mission, absolutely. I have also noticed though this starts playing before it displays the loading screen. They've extended the length of time you see a black screen to hide the texture popping. Like that's very clearly what they did. Oh, that's fancy looking. It's a new map type actually. Yeah, just the bent cigarette. Lovely. Oh, it's an interior mission. This is different. Advent has huh. constructed a psionic transmitter in this area, tied directly into their primary network. Okay. Our intel suggests destroying it while it's still connected will severely damage their linked systems. Plant the explosives before yeah, wait till they have a chance to pull on this. the plug. Gotta get it in four turns? It must be a small map. When left alt is pressed, you'll be shown a preview of which enemies are visible at your current pathing location. Left alt. Okay. Left alt. Target preview. Nothing. Tar does it... Does it apply for the square I'm pressing on, or where I current? It must be where I currently am, then, surely. Yeah. All right. It is a relatively small map, but well, seeing that, so that's quite a lot of distance to cover in four turns, isn't it? That doesn't seem right to me. Position confirmed. So, left out. Target preview. Nothing. Yeah, we're gonna have to haul ass here, I think. So, I don't know if this room is empty. Some full cover there. There's a door there. Assuming we can keep on going in a straight line, even at a straight line, that is so far out of the way. That is, is this maybe designed to make you fail? Something, I, I feel like this is a War of the Chosen. Oh, it's definitely a War of the Chosen tile set, because this is not a thing in the original XCOM. 
But I feel like maybe this is setting you up for failure so that something happens story related. Because I don't see us getting there even if I run full pelt every turn in four turns time. I just, I don't see it happening. On the move. I guess we'll see, but I'm finding this very curious. Alright, yeah, I've done your second action. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Okay, we have our first sectoid. Although they bear some resemblance to the sectoids first encountered during the invasion, their genetic structure now includes human DNA. They are stronger than ever. With an even greater psionic potential. It, it, it doesn't seem possible that I can get to this. That's so weird. Okay, uh, anyway, we'll have to focus on dealing with the enemy. I feel like this is a mission designed to make sure you fail so way. that you're not salty about failure later on, possibly. I really don't like insectoids this early. Heading out. Objective located. Wait, what? Our readings indicate that Relay is feeding energy directly into their network. If you can destroy it, it may disrupt their efforts to isolate ah. the transmitter. So that would buy me time. Crap. Okay, well, that is a On thing. You could throw a grenade at it, I guess. Uh, we're going to open this one with a grenade from my grenadier because I want to um, make sure that the... Sectoid dies this turn. So you're gonna overwatch. You're overwatching. I don't know what I want to do with my sniper. Probably end up doing something. He, he would, if he moves, he can't fire his sniper. That's the unfortunate part. And I want to blow up some of the cover as well. Rolling grenade! So Sectoid's got five health left. XCOM gained one ability point from Mr. XCOM gained one. Oh, damn it. Yeah, that's a big miss. A big miss, too. I'll get him next time. I want to see. One ability point from an ambush kill. So it's a skill event. So that is new. Alright, let's see. You only have your pistol, basically. Is there full cover I can put you behind? The sector is likely to mind control or raise a zombie this turn. Okay. 37% chance to hit, huh? Can you just chuck? Yeah, let's just do that. That'll force him to move again at the very least. I know it won't kill him. But he's in no cover and flanked. He will move. The, the computer is programmed to move when it is in that position. Raise dead? Yeah. Sectoids, as predictable as ever. But I need to buy myself some time, unfortunately. Now, if there was another enemy team, we'd see them now. So let's see what happens. I heard a door open. I think. Oh, I know, Bradford. I know. Moving to position. I'm seeing if I can chuck a grenade from here. Oh, or I could just take a shot. It's only got two health, so do that then. How many turns does that buy me? It buys me one turn! Alright. So, you're in full cover, but if I go here, you're flanked. And then I should just be able to execute you with the pistol? Oh. What? Okay, a little bit of a... That's, that's not your pistol. Skill event gained one ability point from doing a flank. Alright. Let's ignore the weirdness. I'm still going to need to find like at least one more of those damn things. Got it. If I want to do this. Oh, there's one there. Perfect. Get that next turn. So if we move up to... Yeah, move up to there. Double time. Double time! I don't know why he's from Australia? Maybe? <laughs> Even though I believe his character is from Nigeria. Alright, so... I don't know if I can touch this or if I actually have to shoot it. There's an upper gangway there. Can I get you up there? Nope. Can I get you up there? Nope. 
because I don't like how open this bit is because I feel like there's going to be an enemy squad here. Well, I could put my sniper in full cover here to take a look in. Oh, he can actually see two. At least he fired the right gun this time. So that got us to three. That will give us another turn. All right, that makes it more possible. There's definitely going to be at least one more squad. And that goes without saying, really. I'm on the move. You can Got see an alien. You've actually flanked an alien, but the aliens will still get a free move because that has to be a thing, unfortunately. Yes. Okay, so Sector did a runner. Shop she got 28% on the sect line, huh? There's a, there's tons of these extension things around actually. Can I get both that soldier and the extension? I can, but it would also potentially destroy the bridge. Worth it. And that's her last grenade, but I still have two more grenades as a whole. The bridge stayed. So the sector is going to use his turn to raise the zombie because he will. Can't really get a shot at him this turn. Not a good shot, anyway. I could take a 26% shot. I could take that. I think I'd rather Overwatch this turn. You need to get caught up so that you're actually able to <laughs> join in the fight, Mr. Zero Killer Man. Flying Racer. Yep, yeah, raise zombie. How much health does a zombie have this early in the game? Is it five? One, two, three, six. That's awkward. 27% chance, 75% chance. Oh, the crit though for six. Good job, Garlock. Alright. Now, unfortunately, this damn sectoid is in full cover. And there's no cover for me to get over to him this turn unless I'm willing to run some people. So I'm going to have to run, unfortunately. Now you have a shot on an extender and another extender. You do have a grenade. There is half cover here. I just need I need the sectoid out of his full cover. That's all I need. And this might be the turn where I can make it happen. Yes. Can I get both? Oh, it's so... It's like pixel perfect so that you can't do it. Arg. Grumble, grumble. Grum, gr grumble, grumble. No, no, I can't. That's okay. Obviously won't kill the sectoid, but it will remove his full cover. Heavy might be able to. Next turn I can shoot two of them to extend my time if I wanted to. Also that corpse is floating. 28% chance. Hey wait, he's still in full cover? What? Half cover, half cover, half cover, it's all half cover. On my way. Why is that saying you're flanked? Alright, now it's not. 50 50 chance, try. I wish I had suppression. Oh, beautiful, he dropped something too. It looked like his credit card. Nailed him. So there is definitely more aliens on the map, good to know. They're behind us? Oh, reinforcements. So the map actually might be currently empty. All right. Well. Okay. Lyrium core and a data cache. I'm sure the docs will want to see this. Can I actually hit the main target from here? No. So I'm, I'm noticing that he needs to reload though. Maybe bring you around here. Understood. Moving out. He's still got a grenade though, and they're coming in there. Our sniper is in a real lonely position, let's put it that way. He's gonna have to run just so that he's not swarmed by the squad that's coming in. Unfortunately. And you're in a bad position too. I did want to try and get some Overwatch done. Understood. Moving out. Come get some. Heavy's going to Overwatch. You're going to shoot. Which one is this? That one right there. Sure. And flying racer. <sighs> hmm. 
obviously he could shoot the thing he's right next to. He could also overwatch. Or he could shoot one that's much further away from me actually, in case I need to do a fight with troop. Hopefully it's only two. Only two standard troopers, that's actually not bad. I was expecting... oh, and a commander. I was expecting a commander. Oh, please be the commander you're shooting. Beautiful. He's got one HP left, that's good. He ran a mile. That lady shot me! She did. She absolutely did. No, sniper friend. Only a 50 50 chance, huh? Go for it. Should have just fired the pistol, actually. Yeah, I really needed you to do that. 80% chance, that'll do. That might make the other two panic. She used to reload that as well. So I have two people left. You are vulnerable to flank. I also do need to keep on making progress on their subjective. So there's a door right here. There's a door right there. So I come in here. Closing on target position now. By ourselves that turn. Got no ammo. I know you've got no ammo, it's fine. On the move. 50-50 for the kill. Oh, it's never Casey Jones when I want it to be. Aim. Could use some ammo over here. Good miss. Incoming Two people are out of ammo currently though. Oh, it's like that scene from Naked Gun. He went on Overwatch? Okay, well. Now this shouldn't trigger... I need to only do a single move with this guy though. Because he needs to reload. Let's rock. Let's rock. Orders confirmed. Shouldn't be on seen the by the Overwatch from here. Yeah, that's fine. That is... That is the one on Overwatch. 50-50 chance to... No, wait, no. I, I've forgotten which one went on Overwatch. It was that one. Yes, 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 yes. 50 50 chance. Oh, early game snipers are so bad. Adjusting him. Nope. Where'd you go? You're going to reload and shoot at the person directly across from me, I think. Don't miss. Okay. Yeah, I, I caught that. Okay, well, we're going to do the scum tactic then of grenading this gentleman in a manner, if possible, where it doesn't also destroy the cover that she's using. But I don't actually think that's possible, unfortunately. Oh, I had it. I had it, like, pixel perfect. This is for you. Unlocked. Oh god, that's going to explode. I'm glad you missed because I have a feeling she's going to be on fire. Also, I totally forgot to equip the flashbang and the um, first aid kit, which I purchased. Although I'm kind of glad I didn't because I needed. Oh crap. Because I needed the. Um, the grenades I've been using. They're going to scatter as well. You're going to scatter to a position where I have a flank? Nope. That hardly seems fair to me. I mean, if you live, then next turn I could easily do it. Hang on, before I do his last action. So there's one advent guy right there. You need to move because otherwise you're on fire. Get the flank there. We can buy us one more turn too. Um, I'd really like you to murder this man. Could you just go there and point your, your big gun at him, please? Thank you. 
So there's two turns left and two normal troopers on the map, is what I believe. I don't know why we got reinforcements when there were still enemies on the map. That's a little weird to me. Uh, let's see, there is still another time extension I can grab. I'm just I'm worried about Flying Racer getting shot. Oh, you can't see that there. Perfect. And you you have unlimited pistol ammo. I need you to be able to see, actually, if I... Ah, there you go. Yeah, that's what the target preview is for. Can you still see it from there? No, wait. Is that only meaning squad sight? Or is that meaning actual sight? Also, I think it is just... Hang on, let's test it. Yeah, it's saying this what you can see from where you currently are. I thought it was something so you could tell what you could see from a new location. Hmm. Confirmed. No, 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 no. I want you to fire a pistol. Yeah, fire a pistol. We're not picking up any more of those relays. That's all the time we're going to get, Commander. Well, crap. Overwatch! Overwatch! You need to run, but is there a way I can make you run where you won't get shot by two soldiers? Because you can live through one for sure. Probably there. Understood. Moving out. Overwatch, okay. Overwatch? No, he is taking a shot. It was a, it was a get shot moment as well. Perfect. Thirty-seven and a fifty percent chance. Well, there is one more turn left, and he might be able to get in from here. Next turn, as in, like, just run up and press it. I don't think he can though. I kind of need to bait out that Overwatch with someone, unfortunately. Double time. Hmm. Uh, this lady... She isn't going to be any help either. Well, actually, maybe she can be. As I say, I want to bait out the Overwatch. I don't want her to get... Would I rather lose a Rookie or would I rather lose a Grenadier if this goes wrong? I need her to bait out the Overwatch. And she did not. Perfect. From here, he can't even get a shot, actually. We just still have one turn after this, but all it needs is for one of them to take a shot at him, and he's dead. 37% chance. Take the 50-50, I guess. I don't even know how you can see it. Yeah, of course you missed. Oh, come on! Well, goodbye, Flying Racer. Your your life here was short. Position confirmed. What? That triggered the Overwatch. I would argue that that is not visible because this is two squares, not one. But okay. Hang on. There's no Overwatch currently. I need to try and make sure I can do this next turn. Moving on target location. They'll go after him or the heavy because the heavy's in the open and he's wounded. Because the, the CPU likes trying to screw you like that. That was close. Oh yeah, it's actually going for him, huh? Okay. And you missed. That was close. But I have to use his turn to touch the thing, to unless the sniper can actually make it. No, the sniper chance. can't. Sniper has to use his pistol. No, use your pistol. Why is it always defaulting to reload your sniper? Thank you. Target eliminated. Well, let's do the objective first. Touch square of victory. Do thing. The X4 charges are active, but the aliens are still working to isolate the transmitter. Eliminate any remaining hostiles before they cut it off. I'll try. Dead in the war here. Dead in the war here. I should have put her there. That's reckless. Everybody can take a hit apart from Flying Racer. Jesus. Hit something, Enemy please. Scanning. It's still 
moving. It is still moving, you're right. It sounds like it's hitting her. As long as it's not a crit, she'll live. Oh, actually, if it is a crit, she'll still live, so that's perfect. Good. Right, so this is your chance to redeem yourself. Put your gun against this man's head and pull the trigger. Thank you. Target disabled. Two wounded, but everybody lived. Good work, Commander. Take mission full. Yeah, take a picture of yourselves in the sewer. Do it. Take full. Tell them to pose near an advent burger menu. For science, of course. Better like it. I was not expecting to have such a hard time on mission... Well, technically mission one, I guess. By the dissident forces of oh god, have they made the speaker, like, say more things? <laughs> Just in general? Yeah, I, I don't care, speaker. I guess is that better or worse than Tygen or, or Shen or Bradford saying something? Probably not. Alright, so... Flying racer is now the ranger a ranger. Our primary reconnaissance. I was hoping Capable that you'd be a ranger, hence the Jason mask. While engaging enemies at close range. Oh, you were moderately suicidal on that mission, so getting up close and personal fits you. That's good. Yep, gives you slash ability, and you have no other... No, your willpower is low because you're wounded. Oh, maybe that's your willpower bar then, that's where it is. And our other rookie was Origin. Oh, no, sorry, no, you were a Grenadier. So, Blast Padding or Shredder. Make your attack shred armor or give you some armor for defending yourself. Hmm. Let's make you a Shredder. So you can deal damage to armor. Uh, oh yeah, uh, Brian Dessou is our, our rookie, so you're another sharpshooter. Hopefully your aim is better than the other sniper who got a promotion, Garlock, with your constant misses. When targeted by an enemy, automatically fire back with your pistol once per turn, or long watch allows overwatch to trigger with squad sight. Let's go over turn fire, because you were using your pistol a lot more than your rifle there. This will be, Garlock will be maybe my pistol focused sniper, and then... Brian Su can be our our sniper focus sniper. In theory. So we've got Lyrum Core, Alien Data Cache, six, seven, eight, nine corpses. Yeah, you have to decrypt that. And this is us getting the loose condition active, I guess. Hello, Commander. The council you once knew is no more. Its membership have all sworn loyalty to the Advent Administration. With one exception. It is good to see you again. In the days since your capture, I have done all I can to aid the Resistance from the inside. It was these Resistance operatives that provided the intel leading to your recent extraction. I'm letting it play in case there's anything new added. Resistance forces are currently somewhat disorganized. If we are to defeat Advent and their alien masters, you must change this before it is too late. What you are seeing are classified reports of missing civilians from across the world. Their numbers are growing. We suspect they have been taken to a nearby Advent black site, though its exact location remains unknown. Time is short, Commander. We need you to take charge of resistance operations throughout the world. Establish contact with the local cells and bring them into the fold. Find this black site and shut it down. Save our world. The clock is ticking. Good luck, Commander. Right, so that was the same. Objective added. Contact the resistance in the Black Site region. Fly to make contact. Okay. Oh, we're making progress, Commander. We have ourselves an engineer, our first of all. Oh. oh, right, okay, Commander. so this is new. Having these two soldiers continue to work together has paid off. They know each other well enough at this point that we can have them train as a pair for additional tactical capabilities. Interesting. So bond level one reached between Garlock and Azoi Origin. 
Your soldiers have reached a new level of tactical compatibility and are eligible to be bonded. Level 1 bonds can be formed immediately, but all future bond levels are attained by staffing bonded soldier pairs together in the training center. Yeah? Grants an additional action point to a bond mate. I, I don't like their, their phrasing there. Has a single charge shared between the bond mates. So, if I understand this correctly, take Garlock and Origin on a mission. Between them, they have one bonus action point, which means one of them per turn can do one extra thing. I believe that's what it means. But if one of them uses it and then you move on to the other one, it's not available that turn because you used it. I think that's what that's saying. Confirm bond. Create a custom poster featuring this bond. Yes? Commander, the media is a powerful tool. Just ask Advent's propaganda machine. I say it's time we turn it against them. By spreading I'm going to press randomize five things. One, two, in combat, three, we can four, bolster morale five. Throughout there you the go. Time to make some bodies drop. Good job, team. Supplies are dangerous. Now that we have more staff on the engineering team, we can start clearing out space for new facilities, Commander. We should keep looking for more Ooh. recruits, though. We'll need them to staff the facilities once they're built. Commander, combat against the aliens day in and day out is no easy task. And eventually, the stress takes its toll in various ways. We'll need to keep an eye on each soldier to manage their traits. Yeah, so willpower just decreases over time now, and it can give them negative traits, darkest dungeon style, is that what this is? So, Origin got shot too much, and their willpower got too low, so they got overly aggressive. Chance to take a shot immediately after going on Overwatch, as opposed to waiting for the Overwatch to trigger when you wanted to, I guess. I, I have to take the shot! Oh, it's okay, you weren't getting brought on a mission anyway, so... Yeah, there it is. Overly aggressive. Get, get Garlock to calm you down. It's fine. Right, and rather than speed up the the, the, the guerrilla tactics school, I'd rather start Commander clearing so for supplies, if possible. Among the alien left over in this area. There we go. Just so they're if both done moderately out, around about the same time. Space for a new facility. Excavation is underway. Right, so our next mission is going to have to be... To oh, good. Up. It shows the bonding as well. Right, good. It'll be our specialist... Oh yeah, tired as opposed to winded. Yeah, that is what it is. Okay. Our specialist will be leading a team of rookies. Or, I guess, our sharpshooter and our specialist will There's lead a team of two of rookies. About my flying, but I don't see anybody else stepping up other than the autopilot. Shut up, Bradford. Alright, well that is going to do it for this episode. I didn't realise it was going to run on... Uh, this is Actually, this is about the normal length I would aim for. We're already seeing a lot of different stuff and that's exciting. I hope you're still enjoying. I'm going to try and get these episodes out as soon as possible and eventually fit them into a normal routine. However, I got very far ahead with my uploads due to the move coming, so... They're going to be a little weirdly placed for a little while, probably midnight for a few of them, UK time. Please do keep following the series. Thank you very much for your support again, and I shall see you next time. Ta-ta for now.